Now, if you follow me on my social media on a regular basis, you'll know I love innovations and inventions for the plumbing and gas industry, especially if they are done by individuals instead of multinational companies. So, things like the Spurlock Few Spur Lock Off Kit, the JEP push button filling loop for sealed systems, or something like the right angled flue gas analyzer probe adapter made by Trapix. They're amazing. And I've come back from holiday and found another invention left on my desk. And these are these little things. So these are from a company called Sol PCB and they make these little test cards for different makes and models of boilers. So they have sent me the Worcester Bosch ones, they have sent me the Baxi ones and they've sent me the Ideal ones to try out and see if they work. Now the idea of the card is quite simple so when you're trying to test these you can't really get on and easy and you're not really knowing which one of these wires is the right one but if you use the card the card helps you get onto the wires incredibly easy and it also shows you which ones you need. So let's get on with it and get down to the workshop down below where we've got quite a few boilers and test this little ideal one card and see if it works. Now let's check out this little board on this Logic boiler. So the board I'm using on this boiler, because it's an old one, is the Logic One board. Now one of the things you must take into account is these are to be used as a dead test. So no power on whatsoever. So before you expose the circuit board on any boiler, you need to carry out your safe isolation procedure. It's a must because it could save your life. Anyway, after the warning, let's get on with it and find out how we're gonna use this. Now, we are going to test the return thermistor, which is just here above the pump. Now, I've traced the wire back and I've found it comes to this little connection here on the PCB. So, according to the card here, I need to take that off there and slide it on to here. So I can see from the plug here at the end of the thermistor that I need the red and black wires. So my red and black wires are these two here. So I have got my multimeter set to homes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my black lead on the black connection and I'm going to put the red lead on my red connection and I am getting 1967 ohms. So what I would have to do now is look in the boiler manufacturer's instructions and see what temperature that is reading. But to give it a test to see if it actually is working, I can take my hand and I can place it on the pipework just before the thermistor and now you can see the reading is actually going down. So that means the thermistor is actually working because it's changing the resistance with the heat from my hand. Now this little card is also checking the wiring harness for us so it's proving there's no breaks in the cable and the thermistor is working. So, what a great little idea. Now, if you want one of these test cards for the boilers, why don't you go to solpcb.com and see what cards they've got. And they've got a sale on at the moment, 
and he's selling them for $33.99. So get over there and get one bought because have you just seen from this video, they work a treat. Anyway, hopefully you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.